Greetings YouTube. So I received some parts today. Let's just show you what I've got first. So these are the gears and we've got two. So if I'm zooming on that. You see they're 28 tooth. Nice. So there's two of those and there's two of the 20 tooth. See there? That's the part number. They're half an inch. No, they're 7.2 mil wide and the chain pitch is half an inch. That's the important thing. Okay, so there's two of each of those. Then there's four of these 22 millimeter collars, which were very cheap, about a pound 50 each, I think. Uh, One pound 82 plus that they were. So there's four of those. I don't know how many of those I'll end up using yet, but that's those. Then I've got four more of these, part numbers there, so that's six in total. And they have a 50 mil outer diameter and a 22 mil inner bore. And one of those uh, bearings will be welded to the new rotor, which I have here. Here's the invoice for the gear, so you can see what it is and how much it costs, and where it's come from. If you're thinking of doing some experiments, they're a very good place. total price. Right, we'll look at this drawing now. So this is the bottom part, the generator. And this is the top sh part, the drive shaft that the blades will be attached to. Okay, so what... That there on the top near the front is a 28. That on the top is a 20. Now you'll see they're in opposition to each other, as you would say. So it gives me two different options to run the machine. So the first option is the bigger drive gear on the top to the smaller drive gear on the bottom. That's the first option I'll have. And then the secondary option will be a 20 on there and a 28 on there. Cushy cushy. Worth noting that the bottom two, as shown here, will need to be drilled to 22 mil to fit over that. Whereas the upper two The upper two, they will need to be drilled with a 25mm bore because I'm using a 22mm shaft at the bottom and a 25mm shaft at the top. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll zoom in and show you the different bits of this. If anyone is interested, obviously I'll make a full video of me... Uh, connecting it but so these here are either bearings or spacers which I've got and they're the drive gears which will have a 22 mil hole these are the magnet rotors shown here the thin lines and the stators are the thick things which are obviously held in place by the collars and you've probably seen my recent videos where I made the stators, so they're good to go and looking pretty sick, if I don't mind saying so myself. Just need 10 minutes with some insulating tape on those bad boys, but they're near enough done. So yeah, just wanted to show you all that and it's going to be crack on at the weekend, so peace 
Have a good evening.